Hi, in this video I will show you how to put together the square teapot and matching teacup, which is an SVG file from Simply Crafty SVGs. So with this particular file we have a teapot and we have a, um, so I'll show you the picture, this is the teapot. The lid comes off like that. <clears throat> And we have a teacup, matching teacup, that goes with it with a cup. I mean, of course, you can, we'll talk about, you can glue that to that um, if you're going to give it as a gift, but I just have it separated right now. So that's the file we're making. So there's a couple pieces. So if you look in the file, you kind of have to look around, make sure you have all the right pieces. So we have the lid. This is, these are the lid pieces. So I just pile them up, and I actually don't have one of the lid pieces. Here's the panel that goes to the lid. And then we have these panels go on the box and all the items. So the actual file is separated into sections, so you should try to keep those together. And remember to reference the PDF file if you need to know what, what pieces are which, because that gives you a little guide. And then this, so I'm, these are the little panels for the um, the knob on the lid. So I'm going to put those to the left right now. And then here are all these little panels here, or for the cup. And then these are all the pieces for the cup. So you'll want to make sure they're all separated into piles or something to help you organize them. And actually, this is another piece of the lid. I just had it in the wrong place. So now we're going to go ahead, we're going to start on the the actual pot, the bottom of the pot first. So we have these panels and then all these pieces. So we have the base. So these are the pieces for this right here. This bottom, this bottom piece right here. So it's just these So I can do that, but we're going to do that last. And then here's the uh, the handle, the spout. So that these two pieces are the handle spout. This is like a top section, the top edge of the pot, and then the bottom of the pot. So let's go ahead and these two big pieces, that's the simplest, so I'm just going to move those up there, knowing they're part of the pot. And we're going to go ahead, and I like to fold them first before I put the panels on. But we want to put the panels on first because it's just easier to do it while it's flat. And I like to pre-fold it, and it's a silly reason, um, but the reason is for me. Um, it's just easier for me to center a panel if it doesn't fit exactly. So we have, we'll do these ones. We have two solid ones, and then one for the handle and one for the uh, spout. So it'll fit accordingly. So this, that's bigger. You can see how it sits right there. So I just want to center it with the space the same around that opening. You don't have to put much glue, especially on a, a paper. This is a little bit heavier weight pattern paper, but I just kind of gently place it. That's why I don't have the glue too close to the edges, so I have a little wiggle room to put it where I want. Then we'll go ahead and center this. This one, just get it the right way because it's smaller on the top, larger on the bottom. Center that and this, and then we'll move on to the next step. So now we have the panels on. I'm just going to put these two aside just for now. If you do have get a little glue on your table, make sure you clean it up so it doesn't get on anything. We're going to do the spout. So we're going to take this piece and fold it. So you want to fold it and all the score lines. Make sure it's good and crisp. So if you use something like the uh, like the Cricut 
maker and you have the scorer wheel, just make sure it's good and folded. You might want to fold it. These will fold back because those will be attached inside. So these four on the bottom here, one, two, three, four, will be attached through the hole of the side. So we're going to go ahead and we can't do that. We're going to add glue to this little tab. And what you're going to have to do is gently match up this side right here. So we're going to match it up, that edge up to the tab fold. Oops, I started at the top edge. It's a little slippery. And I have a little wet paper towel to get excess glue. And if you wanted to get some more pressure, you could always do that and apply additional pressure against the tab. So that's ready to put on once we get to that part. So I'm just going to put that aside. Put it with the uh, box, actually. So here's the next piece. So this has multiple score scores in it so I'm going to show you you'll see me fold it it really is not hard as hard as it may look to you so these rounded tabs right here um, those will be the tabs we use to attach it to the box So you can see how it's folding over. So you see that's going to be like this. And then there's another score down here and then there. So anything you see kind of a rounded tab, you might want to fold back the other way, turn it back a little bit because we will have to attach that. I'm going to miss these tabs to the box. So as you can see, it's coming together like that. That's how it's going to come together. So just make sure you fold all the tabs. And if they're really skinny like this, putting them against a the table like this and folding them up helps. So you could do them in any order you want. You can glue, um, well, just do the outside first just so we can lift, not lift, feel, to feel inside to apply pressure to these tabs. So I'm just going to do one side. So this long tab. Sorry for the disconnect today. I missed a, oops, a little bit of a long start of this day. But I wanted to get this video done. Normally I start my videos in the morning but I'm doing this in the afternoon because of some things I had to do for family this morning. It's all good. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. So I'm just going to line it up and you can try to feel in so you can see I'm just lining up that edge like that and you can reach inside to apply pressure on both sides at once so on the top I'm applying pressure with this finger and then at the bottom I'm applying pressure by um, placing my fingers underneath the tab or on the tab inside so we'll continue to do the same thing I always say get rid of the there's this is really not that hard, just a lot of steps in this one because mostly everything has a sharp corner or a square. I think the hardest part is probably this, the hardest actual part is putting this together. You see I'm doing tab by tab and it's just patience. It really is nothing else. I mean it's, you can see we're going to go second tab now, just like we did the long one. 
but I wanted to do a teapot that was different um, than I've seen made of paper. So I kind of created my own teapot version. I mean, I had some inspiration, but I don't think I saw a teapot exactly like this. So I'm just going to make sure these are good and folded so they'll be ready to place inside or glue to the inside of the box. Then we have this last just straight piece. Okay, so first I like to do natural mountain folds, which is folding up like this. But this one is going to, you'll see there's a shorter side and a longer side. It's going to fold like this, but I want to keep the texture side here. So I'm going to do a valley fold. So that just means the fold goes down like that. This is another valley fold. And then it's going to sit like that in here. So when I said this was the, probably the hardest part, it is the hardest part. Um, and it's really not that bad if you just take it slow. So I'm just making sure these are good and scored. So with this longer piece folded like this, we're going to start from this side. So just take the slow. This is the hardest part of the file in my opinion. So I'm going to put tab, glue on both those tabs and make sure that I have start with this side and I'm going to fold this back, this tab this way to help me put it in. Okay, I'm trying to angle it so you can see it. To help that, see I line that up, I'm going to use this Chinese chopstick. It's a wooden takeout chopstick to apply pressure to the tab while I'm on the outside here. Then I'm just going to slide this other side under. It's kind of hard to do the video on this part. I'm going to slide it, line it up. Once I have it lined up, I'm applying pressure. So inside I'm applying pressure against the tab while my fingers out here. But you want to make sure it's lined up before you really do this. And I want to make sure it's good. You can try to reach in and apply pressure, but now you get into the bend. So when we get to the bend, we're just going to have to glue it like that. So if you just want to glue this middle portion next, you can fold it up gently. So this is assuming you glued it okay, the other part. It's going to be a little bit tight. So there's not going to be an easy way for us to get in to apply pressure underneath. So what you want to do is line it up to one side. Just gently apply pressure. And if you ever do the bottom of the boxes, it's kind of the same thing. You want the tab to be up just a little bit while you're doing it. I'm just kind of splitting them apart a little bit because it it's a little bit too close together. And I can't really get in with too much to apply pressure. So you just want to lightly apply pressure to get it set in place. And then fold that back and glue the other two tabs. Those you'll be able to get in to get pressure behind them. Then we're going to go in, match up one side, and I'm kind of pushing it into this corner too, if it so it's not raised up. Reaching in, applying pressure to that tab, and then flipping over and doing the other. I toyed with the idea of making this not three-dimensional, but I think it looks way more fun three-dimensional, so I thought most people could tolerate this. If for some reason you have difficulty, what I would say is just cut out another version of this with test paper and practice a little bit before you do the final. So it's not horrible. And if you have little edges that kind of show, 
um, and you're not really happy with them, just a little ink on the edge will clean that up or it'll hide any um, defects. So I won't worry too much about that. So now we're going to go ahead and assemble the box. So these are the remaining pieces after we got the spout and the handle done. These are both for the bottom piece and this is for the top. So what we're going to do is glue these together with this side tab. So there's two tabs on the side. You fold one of them. Just going to add glue to this and then we're going to line up this edge up, up to the tab fold. Not over, just up to. Line it up from the top and bottom. Then we're going to fold it flat over so we can add glue to the other tab. Making sure that's good and folded. Premature glue adage. And then we're just going to fold, fold it over. I have a little glue on my fingertips, so if you do, you might want to keep like a, a paper towel handy. I, I keep a wet paper towel handy for leakage, but I also kind of use it to get my fingertips clean of the dry glue. But now what we're going to do, I want it to be reinforced. So we're going to add this to the inside, to the bottom. And let's, actually before we do that, so we can reach in very carefully easily, we're going to attach these. And then we'll add those bottom pieces. So those are going to just flip in like that into those two little holes. Like that. I'm going to reach in and I'm just going to add glue to this top tab first. Fold it over and I'm just getting it to stay in place. So I'm just going to you can see I'm just applying pressure. I'll do that for the bottom one as well. And then we can go around and glue the four remaining pieces. So you want to go, so that one, let me get it at the right angle so you can see it. So for that one, same thing, we'll just fold it back, add glue on the other side, fold it back, and those two side ones as well to the inside. So I'll do that and then we'll we'll go ahead and uh, add the spout. So I finished folding them back as you can see. We'll go ahead and do the same. So just make sure, as you can see that's automatically, this is the top. So this is the top. So this is going to go like this. What we'll do, we'll just go ahead and do that first. Let's go ahead and add glue to this tab right here. And we're just going to reach in underneath. Line it up, like line that little edge up to the tab fold there. And I'm just applying pressure on the inside. So you can see the tab in there. Get that set in place and it's anchored. So we'll go ahead and add tab to this top, add glue to this top tab. Fold it up. And I'm just also making sure in the front that that edge is lining up to the fold keep it in place. And we just have to glue these two little side pieces inside, if you can see. See those? I'm going to add glue to either side of that. So 
because we have the top, the bottom, um, the top open still, and the bottom, we can go ahead and get our glue bottle in there. This is where a fine tip applicator comes in handy. And I don't know if I already mentioned that I'm using art glitter glue. So I'm just getting an angle so I can get in there. I just know you can't see everything I'm doing. But basically you can see now I fold back the tab on this side. I just flipped it backwards on the inside. Same thing on the other side. I have glue on my fingertip. I would say when you get enough glue stuck on your fingertips, then you might want to uh, go wash them. Stop what you're doing and wash them. And for some reason, if you don't like the holes in the tab showing on the inside, you could just cut more of these solid tab, um, these panels out and then put it over the holes. But that's up to you whether you want to do that. I didn't include that. But if you don't like them showing like that, then you can go ahead and just, that's what I do, just cut two extra ones of that and just cover it. I don't think everybody would want that, so I pick and choose sometimes what I put in there. And if I have something already that will work for it, then you can just cut extra one. So I'm just going to add glue in there, and I'm going to add glue on actually all four of these. But if you wanted to do one at a time, you could. You could do one. I'm going to fold them in. I'm going to take one of these bottom pieces and just place it down. So the biggest thing is making sure that those edges line up to the tab folds. So you can start with one edge, just kind of press it down. I just go around making sure they line up. So just applying pressure with my fingertips against the table to glue those tabs on the bottom. You can see, and then um, if you want this, you don't want it to show the tab. We have one other panel you can add, so you can add glue to the panel like this or down on the bottom. Sometimes I do it on the bottom, just line it up, and purely that's just to it actually helps uh, hide the tabs, but also a little bit more strength on the bottom. And then you can go ahead and apply pressure. And I find it's easier to do with my fingertips, and I'm just going around the edges carefully because you don't want things to bow out too much. Or you can do something like this, or like a blunt tool like this, and go around. So there's the bottom. And the last part is to put this on for the pot, and then we'll do the lid. So what we're going to do, I'm going to just attach it to one tab. So I'm going to add glue to this tab. I'm just going to line it up. We'll do it from the side so you can see it. harder because I'm at a weird angle. You could do it all at once, but the reason I did that is so you could just fold it down. So when we fold it down to a glue, then we'll be able to reach in and apply pressure to all the inside edges and tabs. So I'm just trying to make sure those are good and folded down.
I just know um, you might want to know how how long these things get jammed sometimes. So I'm going to jam it with a pin. You want to know how long it takes for your glue to dry because you could get to the other side and the first tab could be dry. It happens a lot with Scotch Quick Dry. It's one of the reasons I don't use it anymore as much. And if you have bottle failure like that. So I'm just going to line that up. So I'm just folding it over. And then lining it up. Some reason I went a little bit too much too I didn't do it straight on that side so it's a little bit overhang on this but slight so you just want to reach in apply pressure around all the edges see if I don't start straight it won't fold straight so but it's not that noticeable things like this happen with the paper project that bowed a little bit so I'm kind of bending it back that's a nice part about paper you can kind of bend it in place so there's the bottom, so not horrible. So I did forget one part, so we're going to do the base really quick. So that's just these, this is this little part right here. So for some reason you don't want it, you don't have to do it. But if you already have it cut out, what's the point, right? Just go ahead and do it. So it's just these pieces, you want to fold like that. So they have little tabs at the end. So we'll go ahead and add Oops, I did it to the wrong side. I hate that when that happens. The other way. Because we want the texture on the outside. But we want to glue these tabs on the inside. Just going to line up this edge. Up to that tab fold. Make sure I don't have that wet glue down so it doesn't glue in the place that I don't want it to. So when you're doing thin things like this, I mean some people may be very familiar with it, but it's my opinion that I like to glue these ahead of time to let it, because it's so thin on the side, um, some of the scoring, depending on whether you have dashed score lines or, um, for me I use kind of like a little kiss cut. My, my score lines are cut um, or you may use something like a Cricut score wheel or something like that um, but it seems to me or it's been my experience um, that oops, that the, um, the this, these little seams here they can get a little bit loose or you know compromised so I like to be careful with that. I like to usually glue them and then do this next step. Let them sit and the glue settle. But I'm on a video, so here we go. So I'm going to only glue one little tab like that and just pull these top tabs back. So just make sure you pre-fold them. And then I'm going to put this inside. So I'm lining this edge right here. I could have done them all at once like I did the other one. I'm going to do one edge at first. So this is an alternative way to do that big box too. Just doing one edge and then flipping these up and adding glue. So it really doesn't matter because you can see I can easily lift, feel and uh, tighten the, uh, apply pressure to the tabs. Boy am I even tongue tied today. So I'm just going to add glue to the other three tabs. So you can do them all at once like we did the box. The box, what makes it harder because it was kind of a deep, not the box, the pot, is deeper than this. So to do them all at once, I find it's easier, but some people, it doesn't, the same technique works, different techniques work for different people. So you've got to find what works for you. 
That's why I like to show different ways. So basically this is, this is the same thing as putting the bottom of the pot in. So this part's going to be glued to right here. So you don't see those tabs. You're going to be glued like that. And then we're going to gently fold these over and just make sure they're not folded in because we need them kind of to adhere when we glue this. And um, you can try to glue them all at once. Or you could anchor one like we did on the top. Make sure you line it up really well. I didn't line that top piece up. So I'm going to hold it like this. So I can get this edge right up to the tab fold. I want to line it up. And this will be the bottom. So we'll go ahead, add glue to these four, and then close it up. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold it right over. And as I'm doing it, I'm kind of lining it up to the edge here. And then I push this side in and line that up as well. Then kind of rub those tabs. You don't want to push too much because you don't want it to cave in there. And then we'll go ahead and we can just glue it to the bottom. I just eyeball it and center it. So I just added glue to the one side with the tabs and just applied pressure. And then once you get it on there, and I just centered it. Could be perfect, could be not. And then you can go ahead and additionally rub it down there. Apply just a little bit of pressure to make sure it's good and secured. So now we're done with the bottom of the pot. So now we're going to take the lid pieces. So here's the lid pieces. And I'm first going to put the um, panels on to the... I'll explain all the pieces as we go, but we're going to put the panels on. So we're going to do this big one. Onto one of these. There's two of these. So we're going to put that. Just center it like that. And we're going to go ahead and fold this. So I'm showing you how to fold the... This is the knob. It's kind of an angle square. So those will be gluing to the inside like we did the others. So all the rest of them are mountain folds here. And then this is the valley fold. So while it's flat, let's go ahead and put these little, th these are just going to center. And then we'll go ahead and also put that on the, one of these. So just take one of these pieces, like I said there's two, and then put, center the panel like that. So we'll go ahead and put these on. I'll just put this middle one on so you, and just make sure it has a little edge around the there's a uniform space around it so there's a slight offset and these are all the same size so you could add glue to this. There's not much offset at all so if you wanted to add glue to the tab down here whoops, make sure you go the right way you can see there's just a little edge but it doesn't it's not the same exact size so we'll go ahead and add the rest of these and that and then we'll move on to assembly okay now that we have we have the the panels on um, we're going to put that aside for now then we can go ahead and assemble the knob so this is just going to glue like this these little tabs will fold under 
like that. So I'm just going to hold that tap a little while to make sure that it gets good and secured. So you can see like that. Then I'll add glue to the tab across from it. I'm going to fold that over and hold it. I'm just getting rid of excess glue. A little piece of wet paper towel. I'm going to hold it long enough. You'll know after the first one. And then add glue the last two tabs. So if you like these projects, this project, or uh, many of my other ones, of course, if you're watching this and you like it, please give me a little thumbs up on that video. I really appreciate that, and it actually helps me understand who likes what type of project. Sometimes I have projects that I want to do, which is important because it keeps me interested. But I do try to um, make sure that I'm making things that people like. I've had a couple failures but that's par for the course. So there you go. So this will fold backwards inside the lid. So we'll put that aside. And the reason I do this first is so it can it dry and become really dry so we don't have to worry about it falling apart when we do the next step. So here's a, quite a few little pieces here. So there, let's start with find this piece, two of these. So this is one that this is already folded, and this skinny piece. So what I would do is take this, you're going to fold it like that, and there's two tabs, and you can't tell they're tabs, they're just these little skinny tabs. So like that, no, but you want to fold this back. So you want a little belly fold, it'll become clear in a moment. So you want to do two pieces like that, fold like that. So the other one's already folded like that. So we're going to glue them together. With this side tab, I'm going to line this edge up. And I'll show you what part this is on the lid. But we'll do the other tab. So we just make one big piece. And then fold this over, line that up, like so. Oops, don't let it move on you. So I'm going to take this lid, show you. So this is this. This piece right here is this piece. Okay? So it's this little piece that inserts. Put that to the side so I can show you if I need to. So now what we're going to do, take this and we're going to glue it to these tabs. So you want to square it up. And if it stops moving on me. Okay, let me square one side up. There we go. It is big enough to go over. It's just moving on me. Why I would do this first um, is just to get it over so you don't have to mess with it while it's got glue on it. Because the next, what we're going to do is, this is what we're going to do. So I'll show you. We're going to glue this to these pieces down here. But it's easier to get it on first. See these little tabs? Because then we don't have to fight with it while it has glue on it. So I hope you can see that. So these little tabs that we flared outwards, we're going to add some glue to them. You can do them. You can do a couple at once if you wanted to, but you could easily do all four at once. But I would work that edge around there first. I tried it both ways and 
I think it's too much to fight when there's glue on it. I didn't want it. I want it to be kind of snug, but I don't want it too tight. So it is slightly bigger, so it should slide over. It's just a squaring part. So what I'm going to do, go around, just first do this, get them glued together, and then I'm going to put it down, and just go around the edges. making sure it doesn't, it's okay if the curves just a little bit. So it's looking more like the inside edge now. So now we're going to take these pieces. So there's a, these are two, it's similar the way we're going to put it together, but note the tab size. I'll tell you in a minute, let me, so you'll see that one size has a really large tab size, tab, and the other side has a skinny one. So the one we want to, um, I just lost it for a minute. You want to make sure that the big one's on top. Okay. So when we glue this together, we're going to glue it together just like the other one. I just flipped it over so the texture side is showing. That's because that bottom tab is going to glue to this piece right here. So as, as I noted earlier on the base of the pot, when there's these skinny pieces, I find it's better just to prep them, glue them and go back to them. But for the sake of the time of the video, as soon as I glue them together, We'll go to the next step. So a lot of this is just repetitive action because you're going to just notice I'm going to put this together exactly like we put together the base. The difference is we don't have two sides obviously, but the way that I add the panels on the inside is going to be the same. So we want to glue this. I'm just going to make sure that these tabs are good in. We're going to, instead of having a solid top, we have this for the whole of the, um, for this, right? So what we're going to do, those go together, is make sure it's flipped over so the big tabs are on the bottom. And if you want to do it all at once, we'll do this one all at once. I'm going to add glue to all these tabs. I'm kind of pushing down. Once you fold them and you push it down, they'll stay in place. It's square, so it doesn't matter how it goes in. And I'm just going to go over the edges a little bit, make sure I have enough glue. Okay, so order of this box does make a difference, by the way of how you put it together. So I'm just going to place this in here. I'm going to flip these back. So I could have done this slightly different, but I decided I want to glue this on the inside after we have this inside piece down. So now once we have this in, we're going to go ahead and glue this piece on top. Now you could theoretically glue this to the back of that and then put it like that, but I want this to go all the way through. So what I'm going to do is add this top panel first. In hindsight, I could have done this slightly different and probably saved a panel, but um, this is making it sturdier too. So I'm lining up that hole in the middle. So you make sure it's lined up, and I'm just getting my fingers in there to make sure that it's lined up. 
and then you can flip it over, apply more pressure. So it's actually quite sturdy actually. And then we're going to go ahead and throw this through here, all these tabs. And you can glue them all at once. I like to uh, anchor one, but I'm going to do one side first. And then once. This is the most important part, is making sure that the edge is lines up. So if you don't line up that middle hole, it's not going to line up right. But again, you could put it through that panel. So this could theoretically be a solid panel, and you could have just done the same thing on that top panel. If you're advanced, you're going to understand things you can change that you might like better. The problem when it comes to designing is sometimes I do it um, with the intention of a certain type of uh, person that's new to it, maybe, and trying to make it easier or something like that. And then if I keep on continue uh, making changes, then I'll never get anything done. So that's just going to go inside like that to cover the tabs. That wasn't the prettiest way to do it, as you can see the tabs. But this is just a clean up piece. I didn't do that for the inside of the box, but this one's way more noticeable when you lift it up. So then, and only then, we're going to add this other piece that we put together earlier. So if, if you feel this is like substantial weight. So now we're just going to glue this on like this. And I'm trying not to get too close to the edge because I don't want too much leakage to occur, if any. It might, it does, but that's why I have a little wet paper towel ready to wipe it away. My fingertips or the towel. Gotta close my bottle there. I'm just gonna carefully, before I apply any pressure, get it in place. I'm going to line it up. Line it up on each of the corners. And I'm reaching underneath. Apply pressure. Going around the edge. So the nice thing is you can reach in under right here. Might want, not want to go as slow as me though, because your glue may glue. Just be careful not putting any pressure on that knob. Don't want to mess that up. So we're just going around applying pressure on the outside edge while we're placing our finger underneath. So you just want to make sure that's good and secure before you move on to the next part. Or finish it really, this finishes out the lid. And there you go. There it is. So it's a nice little gift box. So we're going to put together the pop, the cup. So this is uh, fairly simple. Let's go ahead and just do these two pieces. So these are, it's back to back, these will be the handle pieces. So you can see they're shaped and they're scored, or cut scores. You're going to fold those back and I'm making sure the texture is on the outside. And we're going to glue in between these scores. So we're going to glue right up to the score marks. 
glue them back to back so make sure that the the texture side if you're using I'm using American Crafts textured paper sure I forgot to mention so it's textured on one side and just back to back making sure I don't glue the tabs and then we're just going to take it take this piece with the holes there's two so one size bigger than the other so this is the top the smaller so we're just going to slide those in And then we're going to fold these tabs back. So we slid, slid those in, so the holes. I'm going off camera for a second, I apologize. And then we're just going to glue them like that to the back of this panel. We're not going to put this panel on right away. I just wanted it to be drying and ready for that step. This is super simple though, this particular, this little cup. I wanted it to have a matching handle as the um, pot, but um, simpler if you wanted to make a bunch of them for little favors. I think they would be cute favors. I actually think this box would be a cute um, box for like a wedding shower, I mean a baby shower or something like that, or a wedding shower or whatever, a tea. So the way we want to do this is you can put them anywhere you want. What I'm going to do is make this the front, and then I'm going to put the make that where the handle's going to be. So we're just centering these panels. So I'm going to skip one, so I can I'm going to put that on there, but not quite yet. If we put it on now, it's going to be hard to put the whole box together. Or box. <laughs> oh, the cup. They're all boxes, really, but it's a cup. It's a cup. So I have room for that last panel. So now I'm just going to glue this together. So I'm going to add glue to the side tab. Fold over this other edge and line it up to the tab fold. <laughs> and opposite to others, what I'm going to do is just glue this these tabs to the inside because we already have the flap attached. and fold it over. So when I fold it over, I'm just going to carefully line it up on the edges here and then I kind of push it over to get to the other side to line it up on the bottom. So once, once it's lined up, we can flip it over and apply pressure inside. And I'm just going to use this uh, wooden chopstick And then we can add this inside panel to finish it off and hide the tabs. But really the only purpose is to clean up the box on the inside. Then we'll go ahead and add the handle. So that's the top. So it'll be like this. Just make sure you put it the right direction when you glue it on. So we'll go ahead and center it just like the other panels. Just moving it over, just doing a little wiggle get in the right place. And that's the reason why we didn't put it on until now because we can't flatten it else we'd flatten the squish this uh, handle. And the last part of the cup is this little piece in the bottom. 
So this right here. So that looks familiar, right? It's like the base of the, the teapot. So this is all one piece, but similar to the base of the teapot. We'll just go ahead and glue it together. That side tab. So you can just do this. So I already pre-folded it. Since it's the same concept as we did earlier, line it up and it's really thin like I said that's one of the things I would do ahead of time and just um, let it dry a little bit I just pulled it off so I want to make sure it's good and stuck so we're going to go ahead and do the same as we did with the base of the teapot if you've watched that we're just going to go ahead and pull these top tabs back Just add glue to these inside tabs. Of course you could use the teapot without the base, but again I think it just gives it a little touch. And then go ahead and add this bottom piece. And you can do it all at once. It's small enough that it's not going to be that difficult to put it on at once. Or you can just anchor one side and then do the other three. But it's fairly simple to put it on. And on, quite honestly, um, if you glue this to the, the saucer piece, you won't see it anyway. So I'm just going to line it up. Apply pressure on those edges. Kind of flip it over, apply a little bit more pressure, and then we can just glue it to the back. That kind of folded over a little bit. So we could just add glue to the bottom here. You might want to stay a little bit away from the edges so you have a little wiggle room if you don't get it centered. I would just center it. The eyeball center with a little bit bit of judgment adjustment and we just kind of give it a little bit more pressure so there's that and then the last thing to do is the saucer of course, you could use these by themselves without the saucer. So this is it. So when you cut it, if you cut it with the texture side up and you have textured paper, um, you're going to have to do a valley fold in each of these edges. So I like to kind of do it gently. And the same thing here, you might want to pull those up just a smidgen because we're kind of reversing. I mean it's, it's super simple. Um, it's not, this is not, um, like I said, difficult. We're just going to apply glue to this little tab right here. Line it up at this angle. You could just go, put it at an angle and, and apply pressure like that. And then what I think is good is just Kind of inking the edges of the one that's going to be on the inside to give it a little bit of um, texture, you know, like a dimension, so it kind of separates that bottom. Kind of want it to be flat, so I'm going to flatten those out a little bit. So this is just similar to the bottom of the box. We're just going to line up this to the area here, the tabs on the bottom there. You see you have a little square plate. And you could even ink the edges too, because I may do a little inking on the, the finished. I like to ink my edges a little bit. 
and then this will just be down there to cover that. So that's optional, but um, that's what I put with the file. So I'll put that on in a minute, but you can go ahead and glue this on there if you wanted to. So that's it. So let me get the teapot. So there's the teapot. You can see it opens for a nice little gift. And then the tea matching teacup. So again, if you like this project, please give me a little thumbs up below on the video um, and or subscribe. I would appreciate that. And I thank you so much for watching.